Hey guys, Brooklyn Boys here, and welcome to the spring announcement for spring yes, 20. Yes, I am not going under there this time. This 15. time, I'm going the right way, which is this way, and yeah. Welcome to the spring announcement on Brooklyn Boys 13. Yep. Well, and this will cover the announcements Every we have for spring and summer. Exactly. It's going to go all the way through until September. Let's say September. Tentative. Please. Tentatively. All right, let's start with the game stuff. Mario Kart. First of all, that announcement for the 200cc is awesome. Yeah. We are very excited for that. And this month, the month of April, the second and final, at least to, to the day, to date, DLC will be released. All the stuff will be there. All the courses and all the tracks will be available. Once that happens, Michael will be making an announcement video for... The Mario Kart Wii tournament. The Mario Kart 8 tournament. It's yeah, I said Wii. Wii. Yeah. Alright, anyway, saying that. I'm going to give you guys a briefie on <clears throat> what the tournament's going to be about. It's going to be random races, so it could be 150, 200, Mirror, which I hope not, oh, or 100cc. We're keeping it random. Items will be on. At all times. As much as I hate every single annoying item when I'm in first place, that is how Mario Kart is meant to be. That is what makes Mario Kart unique from Gran Turismo and, uh, and Ridge Racer and stuff like that. So the items will be on. Um, I don't know if there's a way to hack in the game, but we will be watching. And if we have the feeling that you are hacking, uh, we, will have, we will discuss it with other players. And if they feel the same, uh, we are going to probably... Um, ban you from one the next race and then the following race you'll be allowed back and if the same thing's happening listen you can't there's no way a person can get first place and be 20 miles ahead of everybody else everybody may you know have a different skill level but nobody's skilled enough to be a hundred miles ahead of everybody else yeah. and also uh, there will be mentioned that we have uh, four people automatically that will be in other races maybe five if it happens, but it will all be mentioned once we do the announcement video after the DLC and 200cc happens, which we will cover on Frontline Gaming Zone, definitely. Yep. Alright, so that's the card game. Now, Super Smash Brothers for Wii. I still don't know. It's uncomfortable saying Super Smash Brothers, period, because that's the name of the title, really. It's just the, the Wii U version, yeah. yeah. It's a Wii okay, so here's the deal. Normally around this time of the year in April, we begin the pre-ultimate brawl. Now, I'm not going to drop any names, but you guys are going to know exactly who the person is without me saying anything. Mike and I are here, and obviously you guys know Ellie's here. There's one person who has not been here in a pretty long time. And because of that, I, don't, I can't promise you guys there'll be a pre-ultimate brawl this year. Ultimate smash. Yeah, that's right. I've got to get used to the new name. Yeah. I, I can't promise you guys there'll be a pre-ultimate smash this year because we don't have everybody here. However, if said person is not back by the time it's ultimate brawl, uh, ultimate smash, I corrected myself, time, uh, we will um, continue it anyway. The ultimate smash will happen at least for one year. And if need be, we will figure out a way to have guests on as that uh, fourth person. Yeah. That's if that's the way it is. That's the way it is. I we don't want it that way. It is not our choice to do it that way. But at the same time, we're not going to be chasing people uh, to come every other week to record an ultimate smash. Yeah. Um, we had to do it a little bit last year, and uh, we're not going to do it this year. But this is not. I, I want to make it perfectly. I want to make it perfectly clear. We are not kicking anyone out of the turn of this ultimate smash. Said people are not here, thus not participating in the ultimate smash. Not our choice, their choice. So there's really not much we can do other than say the spot is there. The person who's not here is welcome to play on the ultimate smash as well as participate in the Mario Kart Wii tournament as well as, you know, whatever. There's too many new titles here, and it's getting me crazy. Okay. The spot is there. We're not taking it away. It's there. If the person comes, he is 
automatically a part of said Smash, said Mario Kart 8. Period. Doesn't come. We're not going to stop the series either. And I'm sure you guys understand that and want us to continue it as much as we want to continue it. So uh, they will. It, that will be moving forward. Now I'm going to wait for a bit to talk about my news. You. You have what announcement would you like to talk about? All right. Um, there has been mention of uh, from Nintendo Direct. There have been two DLCs that have been uh, mentioned that will be in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U since we're on that topic. Uh, one of them that's coming out for this week is uh, DLC of Mewtwo. I mean, we haven't seen Mewtwo since Super Smash Bros. Melee, and nice to have him back. Yeah. And the thing is, is that if you have or haven't registered both the 3DS and the Wii U versions of Super Smash Brothers. The deadline was March 31st. You won't be able to get Mewtwo, but free. however, for free. However, though, there is another way of I think snag the characters or something that that's gonna be able 28th that you can get for like 4.99 or for one of the choices 3.99. I'm gonna explain why I do it on my Deuterock 18 site because I've done some research. Yeah, because we already got Mewtwo for free. We only need Lucas right. now. Well, Lucas is going to be in June, but I'm, I'm going to do a video just on Mewtwo because it's been since Melee number one, and number two, he's my favorite number one Pokemon of all time. So, um, with that said, I will be definitely covering a video of that along with other ways you can get Mewtwo on April 28th, which you'll have to Right, because just because we have it as DLC doesn't mean we automatically get it. It means we have to earn him. We get him in the game, but then we have to unlock him. Right. So... Those two DLCs have been announced. I was going to talk hope, about. I hope with the voting that Wolf wins. I don't know. I thought Wolf was part of the yeah. game already. I was kind of, you know, shocked. That... Apparently there was this thing called the Smash Ballet. I think it's called B-A-L-L-O-T. And I did check out that site. And to be honest, if you want to know who I vote for, I said vote for Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow Knowing the that now, wait, wait, wait. And I know all of you are saying why. I know he's an assist trophy, and, I know, and I'm not a big Shadow the Hedgehog fan. The reason why I chose him was because I think there should be Sonic franchises there, as well as maybe Tails or Knuckles, but probably they're not going to add them. I'm sure they're going to add more than just three new right. characters. Right, but I thought that Shadow would be in And Crystal 2 from Star Fox, I thought, would be another great addition to the uh, Super Smash Bros. line uh, from there. I just thought, it, it just came to mind, I couldn't really think of anyone else, so I just put Shadow down as my vote for that. For just the reason that, you know, I could just use Sonic and just be dully snob Shadow. <laughs> I'm just saying, it would be good to have him as an addition, like Mewtwo and Lucas were getting back and anything else that should be coming along. Uh, Epic story-wise, like I said, Epic X is going to be the road to... Um, Issue 1. After Issue 1 is made, um, if I do continue a vlog series, that will be on Last Ember Press's YouTube channel. You can um, check out on in the links below. I'll probably put a link, or Mike, since you're doing it, you'll put a link to lastemberpress.com. The vlogs will show up there. The blogs will show up there. Basically, the road to Issue 1 will also... The blog version of it will end up there. So, and that's where my book is going to be published also. So, if you haven't already, at least you'll have the link right there in the description. So, anyway, um, epic story, however, I have a possible brilliant idea for the final season of epic story. And it might involve the book, but not the book. Okay. Without saying too much. Um... So Epic Story, we might have something. It's probably going to be short because, again, said people aren't here, staff is short, um, and it's just, it, you don't want it to be too repetitious either because then right. it bores you guys, and I don't want to do that. I want Epic Story, if we can't do it, I want it to end on a very good note, and I feel like Epic Story Season 4 ended on a really good note. So we either have to do better then Epic Story Season 4, or not at all. At least not now. Right. Maybe later, but not now. I want to make sure we, we do, if we do a Season 5, whether it be 12 or 6 episodes, those 6 to 12 episodes will be big, and it'll end Epic Story 
on an even bigger note than what season four did. If not, season four is the definitive end. That's and that's just that. I'm going to try my hardest. Again, guys, you know, we try our best with what we have. And when we lose uh, something that we have, sometimes it's... Whereas with Ultimate Smash and the Mario Kart 8, we can... We'll suffice. We'll, we'll move... We'll yeah. make it through. Epic X is something where we need people or we can't yeah. move through. And speaking of Ultimate Smash, we're not going to... Like what we did with Ultimate Brawl, like, because... Be honest, like when we did the Ultimate Brawl last year, we start like in September going all the way to New Year. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try not to let that happen again. You're not going to let it slip over when it comes to Ultimate Smash. When we start in June, or if said May, depending on how the pre goes, if If if, if, if there's a pre, which don't count by the way, if there is a pre, then we just do Ultimate Smash from the summer. All the way until September, October, which is when we'll do the fall slash winter announcement, announcement for our Brooklyn Boys as well. And Both hopefully things. by the time that announcement comes out, I'll have issue one and possibly issue two. Issue one out, issue two in the making. Um, and I'll have more to discuss, obviously, before that with the road with Epic X. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, for Ultimate Smash, if said person doesn't show up, then there could be usually three because we can't... There could be three or a special guest. Or a special guest because we don't want to delay it and, you know, of what happened. You know, because we just want it to do it for you guys because we know all of you out there are waiting for us to either the pre and the Ultimate Smash to determine who will be the first Ultimate Smash champion of 2015. So, all I'm just saying is that, you know... We're, we're doing our we're, best. We're going to do our best and we're going to see... How it goes from there, mm-hmm. whether it be three or four. All right, um, Cyclones. Hopefully, we'll go to a few games. We'll record that. We really want to. I want to take Tommy to a few yeah. uh, Cyclone games this year. Skits um, starting in the summer. Uh, I'll have a little bit more free time, possibly. All depends on work. So Skits, we might have some extra Skits during the summer. Right now, from May and April, um, DC and Marvel are doing huge events, and our attention needs to be on Comic Frontline. Uh, so that's why there haven't been too many skits since Easter. Um, we'll try to do one or two, but I'm being honest with you guys, we have a lot of reading and a lot of other things. We will try to do a 360 every now and again, just to let you guys know that Brooklyn Boys were alive. Uh, but for the most part, at least until June, um, it'll be Mario Kart tournaments. Uh, maybe some games, some um, like what Michael said, we'll be um, doing some pre-Ultimate Smash. Um, we'll try to do one or two skits and some 360s. That's that's all I can promise you until June. After June, um, we'll see where it goes. I have a week off in June. I found that out today. So I will have another uh, tentative um, five days to do some extra stuff. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I really hope you guys are pumped for this comic book that I'm making. I'm really excited for it, and I hope you guys go out and grab it when it's uh, in stores or when it, when it's available on the website. I'll make a video special on here for it. I'm working really hard. Uh, I've already got issues two through five planned. I really just, it's a long process to get an origin story, uh, and the first issue is always an origin, so uh, as soon as the origin is written, it gets edited, I get the artist, the artist does the work, and the rest is all up to you guys because it's going to be print on demand. And, uh, I guess that's pretty much about it, really. I mean, there's nothing really... So, like, so, yeah, so... Just suggestions are always welcome. What suggestions? For any type of, um... Like, right now, on Mike's use your site, we do the Versus and the Bros team. Oh, the Bros Versus and Bros team. So, you're saying, like, a series... Like, any... A ideas? type of series, yeah. Any well, idea? like, any video ideas, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, we're always welcome. We're always open to that. We do a lot of really great stuff on Comic Frontline, guys. If you're not following Comic Frontline, we do unboxings. Frontline Gaming Zone essentially is our BBZ 13 Gaming. As soon as we catch up a little bit uh, with work on Comic Frontline, we will be doing some gaming there. So I can't recommend Frontline Gaming Zone enough. I mean, we've done lots of Mario Party on there. We've been having a blast. Um, Yeah, and the skits, like I said, they will return New Age DX. We have a couple other skits that we are planning for New Age DX. And, um, who knows, maybe one day I might get my U.S. Championship belt. Well, that, that'll be in time, but, uh, you never know. Could be sooner than you think. You know? Could be. Could be. 
Because John Cena definitely doesn't deserve that belt. Oh, don't even get me started with John Cena. First Rusev, now John Cena. Mm -hmm. I'm just, uh, that's just our opinion about that. But other than that, do expect anything. It's baseball and season. Go Mets and Yankees. Yep. And, you know, as always, just expect anything to come for the summer. Because when you hear summer, you know, Brooklyn boys, we go out. We do crazy stuff. Well, not crazy stuff. We do usually outdoor stuff. No, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, that's right. We will have outdoor stuff. Yes, yeah, so uh, do look forward to that as well as checking out our individual channels. His... I would love to take Tommy to the aquarium and the zoo. Maybe we could do that a uh, couple videos there, too. Yeah. And as always, if you haven't checked out our individual channels, his is Dark Avengers C86, mine's Dude Rock 18, Ellie's is Pokemon Real Fan 10. Which she hardly ever posts anything on. But it, 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 she, she will. This Frontline Gaming Zone and, and Comic Frontline. Zone. As well as here, Brooklyn Boys 13. Which we're always here, always alive, and going right. nuts and getting hit over the head and losing God knows how many brain cells and regenerating them over and over again. But it's all in good fun. Yes. So we haven't lost it just yet. We That's what we tell you. You, yeah. Anyway. My 300 comic review is coming up also in August. That's another thing, 300, yeah. That's Big uh, change is coming awesome. to my channel. So expect that in August, right? End yeah. of August. End of August. So, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff to look forward to for this year of uh, 2015. So let's uh, the Brooklyn Evolution continue. And, uh, and in 2016, let the age of heroes begin. Mm -hmm. You'll find more out in 2016, but start hashtagging the hell out of age of heroes because I sure as heck am. Yep. And uh, we'll just see where we go from there. And that's it for our uh, spring slash summer announcement. I'll probably put spring announcement, like spring 2015 announcement. Yeah, he's posting this video, so I, I yeah. apologize if the title or description is bad. Mm -hmm. I'll fix it later. Yep. I always got to do it work. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's and a anyway, real understatement. I was only joking. But also, like Chris said before, I will post the link to the uh, lastemberpress.com. So please go check that out for more information about... His uh, comic or anything Any else. comic. There's a uh, lot any, of really good comics. Any comic. I corrected myself. Any comic. And uh, be sure to spread the word out to everybody about it. And uh, also for Facebook as well. There's a Facebook.com backslash Last Ember Press. But yeah, the goal is to get uh, over 100 subscribers. And we're so close. Likes, I, rec really. I reached out. Well, likes, yeah. yeah. We're so close. I got a lot, of, um, a lot of friends that like the page. So hopefully. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And that's it. So, Broken Boys 13, I'm Mike, he's Chris, and we'll that's see what they you tell guys. Me. That's what they do tell you with a cowboy hat. And we'll see you guys for more vids to come. Well, that's about time. I'm glad we're done. Jesus. For once, I don't have to get up and turn off the camera. So, always doing these videos and stuff like that there. Always not got to see that. <laughs> oh. Take care of ah. the boys. I'm not going to look over there. Just turn it off. And I'll see you guys later. God. Okay. Okay. I didn't hear it go off. It went off. No, it didn't. It did. Just turn it off. <laughs> uh. Alright, goodbye, everybody. Good night, everybody. I have to get up and turn it off, don't I? No, I got it. I'm, okay, so turn I'm it off. I'm just enjoying the freedom feeling. Just turn it off.